Okay, there's a request that you answer it. Mr. Chair, uh, since they're here, maybe they can answer it now. Is it true, sir, that hindi pa napapadala yung video, Mr. Chair? Yusek? Uh, th thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Uh, yung pong uh, CCTV video is not within the jurisdiction po ng ano. Can you ng speak louder, please? Closer to the mic. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, your honors, uh, yung pong uh, CCTV na... Uh, nire-request is not within the jurisdiction po ng, ano, ng OTS. It is with the airport po. I see General Honrado is making a face. General, it seems you want to respond to that, please. You know, Honor, I believe that the uh, footage of the CCTV is with the OTS because it was shown to us during the visit of Nako, the... Nako, ito nga sinasabi ko, may kapalpakan, nagtuturoan na eh. Mr. Chair. Yusek. Yusek. General already said it's not within their jurisdiction. You're saying it's not within your jurisdiction. Kaya nino ba? Janitorial services? Mr. Chairman, may, may I be clarified as far as that particular request on CCTV footage po? You mean you're not aware that there is a request for CCTV footage to be submitted to the NBI? Are you aware or are you not aware? Uh, I'm not. You're not aware? I'm not aware of the uh, request. Eh, talagang walang mangyayari sa complaint nila. Yeah. NBI is represented here. Or DOJ, if you would wish to... Anyone from DOJ, NBI. NBI, please. State Sir, your name, uh, please. Uh, Manuel Antonio Duarte, the Chief of Anti-Organized and Transnational Crime Division, the Head of uh, Task Force Talaba. Uh, as of this uh, moment, sir, we have yet to receive uh, the response from OTS regarding that CCTV footage. To whom did you, to whom did you give the, the request? To the, the, the airport authorities or to OTS? OTS, sir. Uh, it was uh, originally handled by our uh, National Capital Region Command, but upon uh, creation of the task force, the case was turned over okay, to Okay, there you have it. Tignan nyo to. Ito ang sinasabi ko, kapalpakan ng sistema. Uh, Yusek Recomono, It seems you have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, sir, per my advice. Who is advising you? You're, you're the head of the agency. You should be, you should be able to answer it. Uh, you yes, just said Honor. that th you have no jurisdiction. Do you retract that now, that you have jurisdiction? In the, uh, um, do you have possession at least? If you don't have jurisdiction, do you have possession? Wala po kami possession as far as the CCTV. So where, where will the, how will the complaint proceed now? How will the victims get justice now? Mr. Chair, th this is not a question, it's just a manifestation. No? Secretary Abaya and the whole group here told the media that they are investigating and they will fully co coordinate and cooperate with the NBI. Kung hindi pa tayo nag-hearing ngayon, hindi nyo pa bibigyan ng kopya ang NBI ng uh, CCTV at wala pang may alam kung nasaan yung footage, anong klaseng cooperation sa, sa investigation ang sinasabi nyo sa media? So let, okay. let me put that on record, yes. Mr. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Maybe we can, we can start the uh, questions. Um, just a quick point of information okay. on this subject. Uh, who, as a general principle, sino ang may jurisdiction sa CCTV sa airport? Lahat ng CCTV, marami tayong nakikita ng CCTV. Yung mga nakuna ng CCTV, yung mga, yung, yung, rec yung na-record, yung video na record ng CCTV, sinong administrador na namamahala doon sa mga video na yun? Ang airport ba? General, I see you want to answer. Mr. Chairman, your honors, we do. We, we have the custody of our... We are the one operating so, the CCTVs. So, nasa sa inyo ngayon ang CCTV nung, uh, nag, yung mga naganap nung, uh, uh, for the family White and Suleta. We have the original footage, your you honor. You have the original footage? Yes, your honor. So, why have you not provided it to the NBI or to the family? Uh, we, are, we were not asked to provide the answer. But we, we, we are, I believe that OTS has already the copy of the CCTV. Who has already the copy? The OTS. But you, the, jury, the, the original, the jurisdiction is under you. Yes, Your Honor. And you, the, you, what, you, what did you do? You provided a copy to OTS. Yes, Your Honor. You did not provide a copy to the investigating agency, which is the NBI. As far as I know, there was no request for NBI, Your Honor. There was no request for NBI. 
maybe perhaps uh, uh, may ask you to make another copy and provide the NBI so their case may proceed? We'll do that, Your Honor. Thank you. Yes, uh, let's make it clear. The NBI said they made the request to the OTS. But you said you should have responded at least to the NBI. Uh, you know, you have victims here crying out for justice, people spending nights in jail, and you're dilly-dallying. Your Honor, nandito po yung request nila, and we responded to that particular request. Ang request lang po ng NBI sa amin is yung list of personnel po. Nandito po yung ano. Nako, ito na. Tapos... NBI, hindi ka daw nag-request ng video. Yes, Listahan sir. Uh, lang daw. This case was originally handled by our NCR and we were told that is, there is an outstanding request before their office. In addition, upon assumption of this task force, we again requested the OTS for uh, that one, for 201 file, duty schedule of OTS and other records. Sir. Ay, clear case ng turuan ito. Claro. Yes, uh, Ms. Soleta. Uh, sir, just to clarify, our investigator with the NBI has requested three things. The x-ray footage of the luggage that they found a bullet. Second one is the CCTV. And the third one is the standard operating procedure. And our NBI investigator during that time has a copy of the letter they sent to them. And the OTS has responded to our investigator saying that, yes, we will send it to you. Our NBI investigator has a copy, sir. So the, our, that investigator was waiting for the actual three things that he's been requesting. So if they need, you guys would need proof, um, that investigator, sir, has copies of letters that were sent and received. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Sir Chair, just one question relevant to that. Yes, uh, Senator to, to the White and Zoleta family, no? From that time that this happened to you till today, has anyone from the office of the OTS, uh, Administrator Rocomono, or from Superintendent, Chief Superintendent Balaktas, General Manager Onrado, or Secretary Abayas' office interviewed you and got your side? Uh, no, sir. Wala? Wala po kaming na-receive na letter, text, call. No, nothing, sir. Like what we're doing now, no one gave you the opportunity for this side. No, sir. So, Mr. Chairman, uh, with the indulgence of the Senator, Secretary Abayas here, sir, you told the media you're investigating and you will get to all sides. They're saying now no one from the four offices have asked them their side. So are you investigating or from your point of view, sila nang guilty? Uh, definitely not. I, I, I sincerely believe they're not guilty. I, I think... Uh, um, they, they have nothing, uh, they, they had no intent on committing a violation of law. Uh, then, we continue then, sir, to... If that's the case, sir, then why is there a case pending against them? And why, why isn't any of the four offices assisting or asking them for their side? Dapat ni hindi final yan sa fiscal's office if there was an investigation. But none of the four offices now went to them. But so they just left it to the police officers after the media, bahala na sila sa buhay nila. Well, first of all, you are the investigation that is ongoing. OTS is conducting its own administrative uh, investigation for violations of, of their personnel. I think uh, Aviation Security Group is uh, doing the same. But uh, as, as briefed to me, the procedure is once a uh, detection is uh, uh, made, automatic based on the, the standard operating procedures, this is turned over to the Aviation Security Group. The Aviation Security Group, as the law enforcer, then coordinates with the prosecutor, who then eventually uh, starts the judicial process. So, yes, I don't sir, it would let me interrupt you there. That is the normal criminal investigation. So, if someone nakuha ng bala, you describe the normal criminal investigation. But they are saying here they are the victims, and sa media sinabi ng all of your offices, they will this will be investigated. But until this time. None of their offices, OTS or the Aviation Security Group, has even interviewed them. So, from their point of view, won't they still be fear? From the people going to the NAIA, yung everyday na pasero, don't there will be fear na yung sila ang biktima in their eyes, but none of the offices here has tried to get their side. 
what kind of investigation is that? If none of your offices went to them, ang iniimbestigahan nyo lang, yung personal nyo. Yung alleged victim na hindi nyo ini-interview. Well, I think it's uh, quite quite difficult for an office like OTS to to actually extend the investigation to, to the passengers because we believe, I think from their end, once it enters the judicial process, uh, DOJ or prosecutors or the uh, PNP would be in a better position to Secretary, get the full I, Excuse me, I'm sorry, but that's absolutely wrong. Because it should not enter the judicial process until their side is heard. The, the, the investigators, the police, the OTS, etc., will make first the first determination. Who is the victim here and he, who is the guilty party? If they weren't even asked and they complained, then their side was not, dun sa level na yun, walang due process. A anyway, I'll, I'll re-answer it later, Secretary, so that they can brief you as it goes along. My point is, sumabog na tong buong issue, and those who are complaining, panay sa korte nagpapaliwanag, dapat sa airport pa lang, meron na silang opportunity na magsumbong at mag uh, makakuha ng relief. No? I, I think you see that problem yeah, now, Mr. Yes, sir. That, that happened, uh, happens at the level of the Aviation Security Group because OTS is not a law enforcer. It merely detects and uh, part of the procedures upon detection, it's uh, automatically turned over to the Aviation Security Group. Y yes, but sir, but you promised us through the media after your meeting in Malacanang that all of this will be investigated. Pero kung hindi pa sila pumunta ng Senado, none of you here are getting their side. So you're not investigating it. An investigation is where you ask both sides, you gather the facts. No one went to them to gather the facts. So in your eyes, they're already guilty. The, the, as I've said, Your Honor, no. Uh, from the very start, the, I, I feel that they, they are not guilty. Of, probably I, I'd allow OTS yes, and Evasion Security and, Group anyway, to explain you get my point, Mr. Chair. their procedures, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, 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 yes, if Go they ahead. can clarify that. Now, the Secretary said in his eyes they're not yet guilty. But there is a complainant in the city prosecutor's office. Who is the complainant here? Is it, is it the Aviation Security Group? General, can you answer? Yes, sir, uh, Honours. Uh, the Aviation Security Group is the one that is uh, the complainant, sir. So, as far as your office is concerned, they're the guilty party. Uh, actually, sir, uh, we are, Your Honor, uh, we are uh, investigating the case together with the, the, med, the SPO2 Clarin, as well as uh, we are just getting deeper to the case uh, right now, sir. And until Honor. now, which is how many days after their case started, ma'am? When was your case? September 17, 17, sir. So you're waiting two months before you will interview them? We are... Uh, in the investigation process, Your Honor. And in the meantime, you have filed the case against them. Sa that was, sa yes, Your Honor. You, so you shouldn't you pull them. out the case from there while you're investigating? We'll An investigation it. means you are looking who is right or wrong. You're listening to both sides. So yung kanang kamay nyo, sir, nag-file na ng kaso, sinasabi ng guilty sila. Yung kaliwa yung kamay, hindi naman sila tinatanong kung ano nangyayari. In the meantime, everyone who goes to the airport is now bulletproofing their bags. Because they feel, if they tell us or any or airport authority, Sir, nilagay yan, hindi amen, a case will be filed before someone listens to them. This is what all of this is about. It's about fear. And, Sir, no one has talked to them. You don't see a problem with that? There is a problem, Your Honor. We are looking into that, sir. Okay, so, Mr. Chair, maybe before we finish this hearing, a protocol can be put in that the investigation be done before the filing of the case and let's take out the fear from the people when they go to the airport na may masusumbungan sila sir okay thank you um, at this point I'd like to subpoena the CCTV tapes um, who can provide me the tapes general can you provide the, the committee with the tapes we'll do sir okay uh, NBI all the communications that you have with the OTS and with the MIA, if there is any, uh, please provide us. OTS, yes, any correspondence you have on this matter with the NBI and the ABSECOM, please provide. Yes, Mr. Chairman. You are here by subpoena, huh? Mr. Chair. 
okay. on that same matter, may I also ask, how about the other victims or alleged victims who are here? Has anyone from the four offices interviewed also them or got their side? Uh, uh, Senator. Uh, or may I ask uh, Mr. Chair who would want to answer? Uh, go ahead. 